Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm back today to uh, just spend a few minutes and chat with you guys and uh, show you a couple of things that I've recently purchased and I have a couple of tips and tricks to share with you. Unfortunately, a couple of the things I want to share with you are not my idea. I wish they were because it's brilliant, but um, I want to let you know who I watched and um, and to tell you that the you know, things that I've learned have really come in handy in you know creating some projects so first of all before we start with that uh, my my previous video I mentioned and I even showed some uh, washi tape some homemade washi tape that I made uh, so here's some examples now these are all paper bits and I made a few here. I'll show you these. So much fun to make. Super easy to use because it's on double sided tape. Now you would just uh, uh, peel off the uh, backing here and you know you can apply this anywhere. So not my idea but it's fantastic and I saw Eva from Bohemian Crafting and many of you watch her already. I know in my comments uh, people were already letting me know that uh, they watched that video and just thought it was a great project as did I and uh, so I'm starting to make some now and I'm just going to keep on making it because it's great. But what I wanted to share with you is so please head over and look at her video watch uh, subscribe to her too because she's just a phenomenal crafter and she always has such good ideas but um and I'm not gonna say that she didn't show what I'm about to tell you because I don't remember but I just wanted to share a little tip with you in regards to when you're making the washi tape so it's gonna you know move around a little I was finding that my arm was getting stuck in the sticky part that I hadn't put paper down on yet and it was kind of a, like a fumbly process I mean Eva made it look effortless but it that's not how it went for me <laughs> so um I just wanted to share something with you maybe it'll help make things a little easier when you go to try so um I didn't have half inch tape I, I really didn't have I have a lot of really skinny double-sided tape so I just purchased on Amazon and I think I showed this on my last video but I just purchased a one inch uh, in width roll of double-sided tape um I don't remember okay I'm in Canada this was I think 11 I don't know I want to say nine or eleven dollars I'm not too sure but you know I think worth it there's a lot there but I just wanted to show um, and now you're going to see my camera. It's going to be hard to explain this to you without showing you. But when I um, peeled this off to make the washi, I tore off a piece. And in order for it not to move around or so that I could put it far enough away from me so that um, my arm wasn't sticking in it and such, I used my glass mat and that's why I'm showing you and I'm sorry for that glare but my light is right above me is I just took my piece of tape and I kind of folded it on both sides under itself and I stuck it down to my glass mat so something like this and that made it easy for me to stick things down onto here without getting my sleeve in it or other bits of paper stuck to it or just like having generally a hard time so that's just a tip for you guys and like I said I don't know if Eva did it that way or not but um, I, I don't remember that that's my tip for you is just turn your your tape inside uh, on under itself and then um, stick it down to your your mat or whatever it is you're using and then you can easily work on the surface of that um, piece of tape so that's just one of the things that I learned um, but yeah it's it's gorgeous you just tear off pieces of your scrap paper and it's almost like snippet rolls <laughs> but like washi tape <laughs> with paper and I, 
this is just fantastic. So Eva, thank you very much for that video because I think we all appreciate it. So yeah, so that's one thing I wanted to show you. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to all of those of you who um, kind of answered my question regarding the uh, sweet sugar bell bottles. Um, I ordered some off Amazon and I kind of mentioned that, you know, I have a hard time squeezing glue out of the bottles uh, because of my hands and uh, so I, I got a couple. So I like them. They're right here. Much softer than a regular glue bottle. Uh, you can see Sweet Sugar Bell on there. I have Fabri-Tac in this one, so I just emptied out a Fabri-Tac uh, bottle, a new bottle that I had bought, and put it into here. And then this is just my um, Aileen's Tacky Glue. That's what I like the best. Only thing is, a little disappointed that I didn't get, well, I don't know, probably none of us got. I'm not too sure. Maybe you guys can answer that question again, but there's no tops. There's no lids for these. And... You know, I'm I'm wondering, you know, if they, just because the tip is so small that, you know, I don't have to worry about my glue drying out. I'm not too sure, but um, just maybe a little disappointed in that the fact that I didn't get um, actual caps for these. That's the only thing I, I would have to say. But I, I do have these little pins, sewing pins, and they've got a little yellow sort of ball on the end and they fit down in there. They kind of prevent the nozzle from gumming up. And so that's just another um, trick or tip for some of you who, who may not know that, but I, I think that should be okay. And I don't really think I run the risk of anything drying out. So there's that. So I'm pretty pleased so far with those. I just, I ordered some napkins probably about three months ago. Uh, I just got them today. Uh, they they came all the way from, I think, Lithuania. I'm not sure. I got these on eBay, but I just, uh, I think I might have even been ripped off one or two. But anyway, um, I just wanted to share a few of these with you because they're so pretty, the patterns. So there's this green with the butterflies. A little bit of, um, you know, uh, cursive writing on there. So really pretty. I kind of have a project in mind, so I'm kind of anxious. I'd like to use some napkin on the project. And I love this one, sort of Paris themed and the bicycles with the flowers and postcards just right up my alley. Um, so I got three of those. I should have gotten three of all of them, but I think I only got two of those ones. These are called, I have these, they're growing outside, not right now, but Black-Eyed Susan, Ooh, I don't know. Anyways, you guys can correct me on that if you, <laughs> um, but yeah, they're so pretty. The yellow, I love it. Really, really nice. And then this is also very vintage-y with the roses and the, you know, the stamp there. There's a little butterfly. So you could really, there's so many, you know, styles uh, on eBay for napkins. You just go crazy. Um, I really like this one just because it was, I don't know, the colors are really pretty. Lots of flowers. I really like that one too. And then this is music. Looks like music page, music sheet. Really, really nice. I don't think I've seen anything like that really, so that, that's quite cute. And then I got, this is like a really pale pink with the birds really nice so I'm anxious to use those and see what I can come up with I don't know it's I I can't I've never really well here anyways in Ontario Canada I very rarely walk into a store or anywhere that I've seen really pretty napkins like this they always seem to be the same to me really not a lot of patterns just boring so I order them on eBay and I you know I couldn't be happier with those um, in another video I showed you some books that I had purchased for ephemera and um, I got a couple more of those books because I just really love them so I just wanted to quickly show you I got these off Amazon and uh, they're beautiful papers but they're in like a book form 
And these are Flower Ephemera Collection, 18 sheets, um, nine designs and two of each design. And I gotta say, the, the pictures, the flowers in here are phenomenal that you can cut out and use. Like there's an alphabet, the alphabet there with black. It's just, they're gorgeous. You can make little journaling cards out of those. Um, like they're, they look like older images, but the colors are just beautiful. Like the sheet of roses. You can cut this stuff all out. Um, these are tags you can cut out. Really, really pretty um, papers in here. Really beautiful. And the colors are vibrant. You know. So I got that one. It's called Flower. And then I got this one. It's called Butterfly. Same kind of thing, and it's just filled with all kinds of butterflies. Like, look at the colors of the little fairies there. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm gonna have fun, you know, cutting things out of here. The paper's really, really nice, and they're I mean, I got them here, I got them, uh, they were $11.99 um, here, so, you know, pretty inexpensive, but it's, it's you know, filled with a lot of beautiful images, so if you're looking for something to create some projects with, that, that's great. And then I got this other one called Creative Collage Papers and Elements, and it's by Kim Newberg. That's all I know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, the colors and the, it's like pretty much already collaged for you. I, I don't know, beautiful papers that you can use. Lots of really beautiful images, flowers. These are like, um, you know, little ads. You know, postcards. Just uh, bingo cards, there's just all kinds of stuff. Like, I mean, that, that's beautiful. Yeah, so look how pretty those roses are. Yeah, so if you're at all interested, I think this one was only eight or nine dollars. So, you know, relatively inexpensive, like I said, but uh, some good books if you're looking for, you know, something to collage with or, or whatnot. So the, that's something else I got. What else? Oh, I ran out of music, music uh, book pages. And so I didn't know what I was going to do or where I was going to go to get any because obviously you know, everything's closed here. Anyway, I can't go shopping. So I went on Facebook um, Marketplace and I keyed in vintage music sheet. And I don't know, <laughs> luckily, um, one lady was selling an entire box. I'm talking about a huge box, guys. Um, there's probably over a hundred music books filled with music sheet in that box and I was I thought it was going to be so expensive and whatnot and it turns out she wanted $15 one five um, for this entire box in the box I can't even fit it on here to show you but it's it, it's full like I said probably a hundred books or more um, and I'm guessing that these were her books from she she was a retired lady now but uh, but these were probably from when she was a girl and um, she just needed to the space and uh, and get rid of them. So I hit the jackpot. I have all kinds of music, um, you know, types of music, not only, but all sort of variations of color. Some are super old, some are newer. Um, and I was really, really thrilled. So actually my boys offered to um, take a little road trip in uh, about a couple weekends ago. 
and um, go pick them up for me. So I was really, really happy. I don't know how I'll ever get through all of them, but I, I was just looking for a date here. But you can see, you know, they, they're they well loved and they will be by me as well. Maybe in a little bit of a different way, but I mean, the books are just they're incredible. This one is really, really brown, the color. So I'm super old. I wish I could find a date to tell you when these were from. But yeah, I was thrilled. So um, maybe that's just uh, something also, I mean, if you guys have something like, uh, you know, something on Facebook, we have Marketplace um, or, you know, your vintage shops or whatever, just keep your eyes open for stuff like this because, um, you know, it's worth it anyway but yeah so I just wanted to share that with you so I was very very fortunate so happy I spent the whole like Sunday afternoon just kind of going through this entire box of stuff and then so one more thing I've recently been watching a lady named Claire she is purple poppy on YouTube and she's a beautiful crafter I noticed that she would create some tags using the aid of a uh, old credit card or some kind of card. I covered up whatever this was under there just so, uh, you know, who knows. <laughs> and what she's done is taken this card and cut the corners at different angles so that she could use this as a template to make tags. Um, this card happened to have rounded corners, so I actually left one corner like that, just so that if I needed to round something, I could just follow this edge. And then, you know, I've got a more, you know, I cut this one a little longer for bigger tags and, you know, different angles. So essentially, all you would have to do is if you were gonna make this piece of paper into a tag, you choose whatever um, size you wanted. You would just line the card up with the top of your paper and the side of your paper on one side. And then cut this. Right? And then you know what you need to do. We're just going to turn this over to do the other side. Same thing, you meet it up at the top and along the side. And then you cut this side and you guessed it. You're gonna have a perfect tag every single time. And then, you know, like I said, you could, you know, use whatever side. I just clip mine anywhere. I knew that sometimes I'd have bigger ones. So I made a longer uh, cut here and then, you know, so on and so on. And like I said, I made, left this one round in case I, I wanted something rounded. So I wanted to pass that on to you also, uh, it's a great idea. Maybe many of you do this already. I'm <laughs> probably late to the show as usual. But um, again, this was Claire. Her name is Claire and her YouTube channel is Purple Poppy. And um, yeah, and I think you guys would love her and she's got great ideas also. So that's what I wanted to tell you about tags. I think that's just about it. Yeah. So I hope to be back soon with uh, more projects. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and well, and we'll be back soon. You guys take good care. Thanks again. Bye-bye.